The national chairman of the APC, Adam Soshiomole, said Shoure does not have the moral rights to call a protest because he participated in the last election. What's your response to that? Uh, my, my, my response is simple. Adam Soshiomole, while he was governor of Edo State, I was a, an investigative journalist in Edo State for five months. Adam Soshiomole is the most anti-worker governor I've ever known. Go and ask in Edo State. When Adam Soshiomole was governor of Edo State, he dealt with all the labor leaders in the other state. He even, he dealt with judiciary workers in the other state. He dealt with every other worker to step the National Union of Teachers. And the National Union of Teachers defeated that Adamole thanks to us, thanks to our support to NUT. Adam Soshomole, all through as NSC president fought against casualization of workers, but as governor, has done the highest number of state casualization so far. Adam Soshomole casualized over 50,000 workers in the United States through the youth employment scheme, Yes Workers. And let me tell you something. Yes Workers, Adam Soshomole used Yes Workers to get tax and raise money in the whole of the United States. He employed them, most of them master students, degree students. After employing them for five years, and immediately he was going, that means he had eight years as governor, he employed them for five years. The next one year, he used them again, you get it, to develop the workforce in Edo State. And he then retrenched everybody. He sacked all the years workers in Edo State. Famously, students even in Edo State secondary schools came out and revolted. So all of us know Adam Soshomale. From the time of the Texas workers, Adam Soshomale have been selling workers. It was because the Nigerian left was strong that Adam Soshomole was addressing and leading protests. In fact, you need to also remember that all the protests Adam Soshomole led, he betrayed, beheaded oh, okay. all the protests. Yes. yes. He would say, he would tell the federal government, increase the petrol price to 140. I will fight, and then you reduce it to 70 or 80. Yeah. Baba. So Adam Soshomole was a fraud. Big all fraud. true. It's, a it's, big fraud, all yes. true. And he's still a fraud. In Edo State today, if you say you are a comrade in Edo State, people will hate you because of Adam Oshomole. So Adam Oshomole is not a good example to us. And we want to tell the NSC and TUC, if all of you want to follow the steps of Adam Oshomole, the ruling class does not give revolutionaries two chances. The chance they give Oshomole is because Babangida has been not turning Oshomole since when he led the revolt against professional workers of the Texas. And that's right today. Adam Soshomale was the one who supervised how Texas were destroyed in Nigeria. The same way many of them also supervised how electricity was privatized. So Adam Soshomale supervised how Texas was privatized in Nigeria. He's a fraud. Not just a fraud, he's a continental fraud that we know in Nigeria. So we understand who Adam Soshomale is. He cannot talk where Shure is talking. He is angry because we have been able to behead his uh, uh, manipulation of the left in Nigeria. With the coalition of revolution, we have been able to defeat Oshomale's hold, Aragbe Shola's hold on the left in Nigeria. Aragbe Shola and Oshomale has been using money to destroy opposition, real political opposition in Nigeria. And with this protest, with this revolution now, with the coalition for revolution, we have been able to defeat them. We want to use this opportunity to tell many of the protégés of Oshomole and Aragbe Shola that are trying to creep, crawl back through the free Shogure protest into this struggle and try to now sing, do crocodile tears that the revolution cannot wait for betrayers anymore. The revolution cannot wait for those who want to behead the struggle anymore. The revolution has chosen his heroes, it has chosen his comrades, it has chosen his own actions. Who are we to tell Nigerians what to do? Nigerians are their own liberators. We are just the tribune. We are just reminding Nigerians. You cannot be saying revolution in your room without saying it outside. And we were happy. 14 states had action. Till date, Buhari is still putting all the military and soldiers and police. Look. Buhari lied to soldiers and police before the election that he will pay all of them 100,000 minimum wage. And many of them are now running head to defend Buhari. They are only defending the malfuture 
of their children. When I say mal future, Buhari has destroyed the future, 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 and future of the children of soldiers and police. So by his destruction of those futures, he is now giving guns to their father to go and be killing those who want to fight and defend those futures. So we are calling on the Nigerian police, Nigerian soldiers, that all of them should stand up and rise where they are and defend the truth and their conscience. Thank you.